my inspiration is a, a designers look like they were having fun. Before that, I was like a job, and then when I wasn't working, something that was fun. Because I thought that's what life was. You do something you don't like, and then you do you balance that with like, hey, I'm gonna play golf or you know, I don't know, watch sports. There's ten shoes more than that, but have outperformed other ones. You know, the Air Force One. That shoe is an iconic one. The Jordan, it's more than an iconic shoe. You know, it sold more, but also meant more. And that's what the glorious part about the project was, is they looked in their past catalog and said, look at these 10 shoes. Do you have an idea to sort of give them new life? And, you know, that we can, as a brand, highlight, you know, these 10 sort of innovations in the past. And that's where I took the torch and I ran with it. And I said, let's do this. I can't utter enough that it's career suicide. You know, I'm trying to make it a few details to be lifestyle. So you want to wear it with a pair of jeans and a girl wants to wear it, you know, to go to work. That's, that's what off-white is. Off-white is make it street, make it wearable, make it, you know. If eight of the shoes were good and two were bad, mm. I wouldn't be sitting here. <laughs> there would be no press tour, there would be no tour about these ten shoes, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's a very difficult thing to, you know, these are designed by designers. I don't even call myself a designer yet. How can I like not be negative and be at that's my big thing in my design studios you can't say something's bad mm. like you can critique but you can't critique without putting something else because mm. if you can just critique and you didn't suggest something else then there's nothing else in the room for everyone else to say that's not good and that to me isn't that's not design it's not productive it's not cool <laughs> so these shoes were like hey, if I'm here complaining about all these colorways, you know, I'm like, don't find sneakers that relate to me. You know, I wear the same sneakers and they get dirty and I took myself, I wanted to, then I challenged myself to, hey, I got a design. I put something in a f file, hopefully it comes cool. Put myself up to the same critique that everyone else has to. I think more so it was that when I used to buy Jordans, or like look at an Air Max 90 that Tinker did, I was like, I want to be the intern that sits in the room while they're coming <laughs> up with that. I, I didn't want to be a designer, I just wanted to be in the same room that, because somebody does that, like yeah, where yeah. does that happen? I was yeah, such a fan. Yeah. Like if, you know, there's real people in that room, how do I get? And so that's what I did, and like, you know, getting a project with Nike is like almost impossible. <laughs> but I did it. In my own way, I did another pro. It's the same way I advocate other people do it too. Don't just go to where you think you want to work mm -hmm. and just say, hey, I want to work there. You have to do something that they see value in so that the conversation is shorter. William murdered a beat.